In the depths of the earth, hidden from the light of day, lies a cavern so extraordinary, it seems like a scene from a dream. Imagine stepping into a place where crystals the size of skyscrapers tower above you. This is the Cave of the Crystals. But what secrets do these massive formations hold? And how did they come to be? Discovered by accident in the year 2000, 300 meters beneath the surface in Naca, Mexico, this cave was unlike anything the world had ever seen. Imagine a cavern so hot and humid that even the briefest of visits could be fatal without special suits. Yet, deep within this dangerous environment, crystals of selenite, some weighing up to 55 tons, were found in pristine condition. How did these crystals grow to such enormous sizes? For thousands of years, this chamber was filled with mineral-rich water at a perfect 58 degrees Celsius. Over time, the conditions allowed these crystals to form and grow to unimaginable proportions. But there's a mystery that lingers. What exactly lies at the heart of these giant formations? Could they hold clues to the Earth's ancient past? Or perhaps something even more mysterious? For those who have dared to enter, the experience is nothing short of surreal. Picture standing in a room where the walls are made of shimmering, translucent crystal. The air is thick, almost suffocating, but the sight is enough to take your breath away. You can't help but feel an overwhelming sense of awe mixed with a tinge of fear. Fear of the unknown, of what might still be hidden in the shadows. But not all mysteries are meant to be solved. As scientists continue to explore this natural wonder, they face challenges unlike any other. Extreme temperatures, treacherous terrain, and the relentless march of time, which is slowly causing the crystals to deteriorate. Yet the allure of the unknown keeps them coming back, searching for answers that may never be fully uncovered. But even as we delve deeper into the secrets of the Cave of the Crystals, one question remains. Are we truly prepared for what we might find? Or are there some mysteries that are better left buried in the darkness? Because sometimes, the greatest mysteries are the ones that remain unsolved.